Mindworks MicroSync Time Servers are a wonderful piece of kit. Powerful, precise, versatile. And thanks to the latest update for our MicroSync systems, now even more accessible with a brand new web interface. This new management solution provides you with absolute control over almost every aspect of your MicroSync's configuration and monitoring feature from the comfort of an ordinary web browser. Open the page, log in, and there you go! Everything you need to know about your MicroSync at a glance. Let's start with the dashboard here. Here's your clock status. Green means all is well. Yellow means your MicroSync is in holdover or perhaps still synchronizing. And red? Well, that's how you know something's up and action is needed. The network tile shows you the state of your network interfaces. The NTP tile shows you the state of the MicroSync's NTP server and external servers. The PTP tile shows your MicroSync's master-slave relationships. The receiver tile shows how many satellites are in use. And here's the system tile with uptime, CPU and memory usage. So far, so good. Scrolling down and we see a visual representation of your MicroSync, showing every port and indicator where and as you would find it on the actual unit. For example, the R LED here is showing green, just like it is on the device itself, to show that the MicroSync's clock is receiving a valid time from the receiver. Click on one of the ports, like the time code port here, and it will bring you straight to the configuration panel where you can adjust the output directly as you need it. Or if configuration of a port is a rather more involved process, it will provide you with a link to bring you where you want to go, like with the Ethernet port here, which directs you to the network configuration page. And here is one particularly interesting feature. Because the DMC connectors of a MicroSync are very much multi-purpose I.O. ports and sometimes also serve as the power supply connector, you can mouse over each of the pins like this. And it will show you what function each of the pins performs. And if we click on it, like this, it will show all of the pins related to that output. Next is the References panel with all the reference sources your MicroSync supports, their current states and their priorities. Clicking on Configure brings us straight to the configuration page. So let's say you want to reprioritize your sources so that it falls back to a redundant PTP master. If GPS fails, no problem, just make sure the source is enabled and drag it around like this. This is the network page where you can set the MicroSync up for your network with PRP and bonding support. In the NTP section, you can configure the MicroSync's own NTP server functionality, add external NTP servers as time sources and add keys for device authentication. The PTP area is where you can configure the physical PTP interfaces, create instances and configure them in fine detail. And we know that PTP isn't an easy thing to deal with, so if you make a mistake, no need to spend hours combing through log files. The web interface will correct the settings itself if possible, or it will show a red box, like this, pointing you to the settings you need to fix. And the last item in this list is the user section, which lets you manage your users and their MicroSync access permissions. The state tab shows pretty much everything you need to know about your system's references and their states. Your network connectivity, information on the MicroSync as an NTP server and client, your MicroSync state as a PTP master or slave, the I.O. ports as we saw on the dashboard, information on the receiver, useful if you are having problems with your antenna, and user information. And finally, we have the maintenance tab, 
which gives you all the hardware related information you could ever need, provides access to log output and lets you manage up to five different firmware versions at once for maximum stability. All that is a lot to take in. What if you're struggling to find something you need? No problem. Just click on find anything in the header bar at the top here. Enter what you're looking for. So let's say PTP here and it will show you everything to do with PTP, including interfaces named PTP, the actual PTP configuration page and more. And that's it for now. We hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to our latest feature and we will be doing more in-depth videos on Mindberg OS in the future. So remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mindberg, the synchronization experts.